Yo, yo, what's up? It's Neil again, and welcome back to the Energy Academy. In the last few episodes, we looked in detail at forward and futures trading, where electricity is traded for a specified price in advance of delivery. But advanced forecasts are never completely accurate, so suppliers have to fine tune their predictions. The industry term for this is adding shape. Suppliers add shape to meet more dynamic, up-to-date forecasts of their customers' demand. This is where the spot market comes in. The spot market is for day ahead and intraday trading. It's called the spot market because it's for on-the-spot trading, trading for the here and now. And day ahead, yep, you guessed it. Day ahead trading just means that electricity is bought and sold for delivery the following day. Intraday trading, sometimes called within day trading, is electricity that's bought and sold for delivery on that day. So let's set out a timeline. Imagine you're an electricity supplier. You forecasted your customer's demand for electricity over a number of months or even years. You've then utilized the forward or futures market to cover your base load, the minimum demand that your customers require across a full day. You've then purchased a peak product, also in a forward or futures trade, to cover your minimum customer demand at peak times. But now you're a day out from delivery and you're short of your updated forecasts. This is normal. You only purchase enough electricity needed to cover forecasts of minimum demand. This is so you don't overbuy in advance. But delivery's almost here, you're still short, and so you need to add shape. So you dip into the day ahead market to purchase the extra capacity that you need. But how does that work? Well, while power traders may engage in day ahead over the counter trades, generators and suppliers are more likely to use power exchanges. But what are power exchanges? Put simply, they're trading platforms for registered members. Based on the order book, the volumes that participants need to buy or sell and the prices that they're willing to buy or sell at, power exchanges calculate a market price. Because of this, they're the most reliable prices available for electricity in short-term delivery. So you head to a day-ahead power exchange. The most common ones in Great Britain are Nord Pool and Epex Spot. You offer to buy the electricity you'll need to meet your customers' demands the following day on an hourly or half-hourly basis at the price that the market has decided for each period. In turn, a generator will then produce the electricity to meet your needs and be paid that same price. Intraday trading on what's sometimes called the intraday continuous market runs up until gate closure. Do you remember that term from a previous episode? It just means one hour before the beginning of the settlement period in which you're due to deliver. If you need to make any further adjustments to ensure that you can meet your customers' demands, now's the time to do it. Again, by using exchanges like Nordpool or Epic Spot, you can agree to purchase electricity at the spot price right up until gate closure. These two exchanges operate half hourly auctions in order to facilitate this. And then you've done it. You've matched your customers' forecast demands with the amount of power that you've purchased from generators. Now there's one hour to go. One hour before the agreed delivery period, the market closes. Do you remember that term, gate closure? Generators and suppliers must publish details of their intended generation or demand for each settlement period. Sometimes they'll do this way in advance of gate closure and sometimes they'll do it at the last minute. Each time you provide these details, it's called a physical notification. You can update your physical notification for any settlement period right up until gate closure. At gate closure, the most recent physical notifications are locked in for generators and suppliers. These locked in details are called final physical notifications. Final physical notifications allow National Grid to forecast generation and demand nationally. This gives them a forward plan of projected imbalance levels. While these hour ahead generation and supply levels are likely to be pretty close, they're never gonna be bang on. So National Grid ESO still needs to balance any discrepancies between supply and demand. And this is where the balancing mechanism comes in. But what even is the balancing mechanism? Well, in the next episode, I'll explain exactly that. I'll see you there.